My name is Steven. This is video number 13 in my new series called Introduction to Coding Matter. What I'll be showing you guys in this video is multiple page loading, and we'll be styling our butt ugly website so far. Um, and we'll create the, the about page too. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we want to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit more content in here, just to make it look more like a website and stuff. Um, what I'll do is go to lorem-ipsum.perbang.dk or any other lorem ipsum generator that you prefer. Just paste that into my p tags there that I just created. Save it up. Check it out. Looks good. Okay. Um, next thing, styling. For now, I'm just going to do this in the header tag, and then eventually I'll migrate this to a external style sheet once I show you guys the URL helper. So um, I've actually kind of pre-styled this. So I kind of know how I want it to look. It'll look still like crap, but not as crappy. Margin zero, padding zero. Okay. Um, body. Just like a light gray or something like that. H2, H3, H4, P is uh, UL, just to make sure. And I've already chosen a font. I think I just want like Arial. You can skip this, by the way, if you're not interested in styling this. This is just a. Uh, so that I don't go crazy looking at unstyled stuff. Text dash decoration none. Next will be the nav. Okay, getting there. Uh, need to specify a width if we're centering it with margin auto. So we want like a thousand pixels wide is a pretty good. Some kind of like nav ul left <laughs> left margin zero fifty pixels. Start is getting there. inline because we want our nav to look inherit silly text editor okay not bad let's do like a hover if you guys like pseudo commands hover do a nav a hover color green I can't think of any cool. <laughs> Sweet. Save that up. And um, just two more things. Now we'll just go content. With 1,000 pixels. Uh, 
percent Cool margin. Yo, auto. Sweet. Looking good. And the footer. change the color because I would like it to be a little bit more faded so it looks nice. <laughs> Footer P. See that? And like some middle gray, something like that. Yeah, so it's a little bit more faded. Cool. So here will be our still but ugly but semi-functional website. Um, that felt like it took forever to type so I'm going to hurry up really quick to get these multiple multiple views going. Um, we learned how to load multiple views in the in the first tutorials. What I'll do here is set up some controllers first of all. the about and home page. Next thing I will do is, yeah, I'll teach you guys. <laughs> um, the way loading multiple views works is right now I'm just loading this whole chunk of HTML at the exact same time. Uh, when you load different views, it's like having different includes. Um, you can include different types of HTML uh, in your project. So I'll just go ahead and show you. What I'm going to do is select all of this stuff. I'm going to cut it, so control X. And I'm going to actually go into my views here. Create a new view. We'll call it site underscore header dot PHP. Actually, I'm going to copy it so that we can keep this for reference. So control C, and then I'll just paste that in there. Looks good. I'll save it up. And let's keep going. Next, if I take the body, the top part of the body, and then just the up to the nav, I'll copy this. I'll create another file called site underscore nav.php. Open it up and paste that in there, save it. Next, the content div. Now I'm going to name this a little bit differently because if you're catching my drift, this, the nav, the header, and the footer are all going to be the same, but the content sections will be different. So content home.php. Save it, and then just grab the footer and the rest of the body in HTML tags. Copy that, and then a new file. We'll go site underscore footer.php. Open it up. Paste it, save it. Now if I go into my site controller, we know how to load one view. Loading multiple views is <laughs> pretty straightforward. View. And we'll go site underscore header. We'll go site underscore nav. By the way, I'm just pressing control D. It, the command is the exact same in PHP ED and Notepad++. Maybe not whatever text editor you're using. If not, you can just copy and paste the lines or type it out or whatever you want. Content home for the home page. And then once more site underscore footer. Then instead of loading this default view, I'm actually going to load the home function. Save it up. And now, when I go to my basic site, 
it actually looks exactly the same, so we can't tell. But because there's no errors and we're actually loading this controller, we know that it works. Um, just to test this out, why don't we copy all of this? Put it in here, and then just change this to content underscore about, and we'll actually create that right now. We'll go to the content home, copy everything in here, control A, C, create a new file called content underscore about dot php ha ha. paste it in there and then we'll just change some of this content check out my awesome business save it now if I go to the about page um, the only way we can really check that is by going site slash about And sure enough, we're actually loading all of these multiple views from the controller, and it's actually it makes it a lot more efficient. So if you want to change something, like say in the header, or load another uh, like JavaScript library, all you have to do is go into the header file, and it works awesome. That's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.